Hey Pisces, this reading is all about you. Welcome to your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. I am Michelle. Please click subscribe, help the channel grow, ring that bell so you know when I upload all this juicy content. Let's get into your week ahead reading. This is the oracle card reading. There is an extended link below for the full tarot spread as well as the romance reading. Just to let you know, there will be one commercial break in this video. I will let you know and I won't let it interrupt a message. That's a promise. So let's get into this, 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 um, this reading Pisces. This is for Pisces sun, moon and rising or anywhere that Pisces influences your chart. You can take these energies for this week and apply those to the natal aspects and they will help to help you understand or get a deeper understanding of how this energy will affect that part of your life. Pisces, Pisces energy, Pisces energy for the week ahead. Pisces energy for the week ahead. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces energy for the week ahead. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces energy, sun, moon, rising. You're working on accepting a very difficult aspect of yourself. This was the crowning energy. In other words, you've got to throw something away. You've got to let it go. And I think what you've got to let go is something that you decided to believe about yourself a long time ago. There is an unhealthy, accepted truth about what you are and who you are that you settled on in your brain that is not a truth. It is a virus that has infected you basically your whole life. Sort of taking over your brain and skewing the choices that you make and the decisions and how you allow yourself to be treated or seen. This is an infection. And there's no better way to say it. It's like a, a rotting carcass inside of your living form. It is, it is blocking the beauty of you. And you need to throw it away. It's time. You have, in so many aspects of your life, wasted you. Or allowed yourself to be laid waste to. Because you accepted this as true. Please don't do it anymore. I'm begging you. Now this is something that would go so deep. That you would. Maybe even be disgusted by talking about it. You may have worked your whole life to accept it or to try to incorporate it into who you are to somehow feel stronger. This is something very likened to PTSD or um, some sort of trauma. And it has skewed the way that you interact with the rest of the world. And it's time for that to go. It is time for you to throw all of it away and stop trying to take this rotting, nasty carcass and make something beautiful out of it. This is the time for you to accept that there's nothing beautiful about it. And by trying to continue to find something beautiful about it, all you do is keep it around. This is honest to God, the ugly truth. And it is a beautiful thing. Why? Because it's liberating. You're going to have to be very, very brave this week, Pisces. Because this means admitting something about you that you don't want to talk about or think about.
you are not as ugly as you think. You are not. You are not a waste. You are not a waste of space. You are not a waste of time. You are absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. And I think that there is an arrogance that's formed on top of this. Think of your two fish swimming. One, the, the darker one becomes, the brighter the other becomes. And there becomes this almost this divide, this dichotomy that happens inside of you. You know, as, as if, as if, as one thing is lessened, the other thing getting larger is actually somehow balancing it out. It's not, it's not, it's just weighing, tipping the scales over. Like think of the scales, think of the scales, like having sitting this way, right? Scales like by this being lessened and this this getting this getting more and this being lessened more and more and more and more and more and more and more it's just making it more unbalanced it's not balancing anything out it's 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 increasing the imbalance that was your crowning energy Let's get into this. If there is, um, if you are on platforms that allow for commercial breaks, I'm going to put one in here and I will see you in about 30 seconds. Okay. Now the cow card, the cow is the messenger of the gods, the God, the animal that the gods choose to ride when they come down from the heavens or into the 3d world, which is why the Hindus celebrate the cow because it's the steed of choice for the gods. So this is about, the miracles are endless. This is about the amount of healing and the amount of beauty that's sort of built up behind this door of um, denial, hurt, sorrow that you've kind of built up. This, this is the abundance that's built up behind it. And I honestly do believe that these miracles are breaking through this week. And the reason why is because you've just decided to just stop being ashamed and stop trying to overcompensate with brightness by turning the lights up. Like, like that's not helping the darkness. It's almost like making the darkness deeper. What you've done instead is just turn the whole lights off. Accept what's in the darkness. And then let the sun come out. There is a whole slew of miracles and blessings coming to you. But you have definitely got to get rid of this energy of trying to make something work that isn't working. The miracle this week will be in letting go. Ooh. Watch your words. The miracles are endless, followed by watch your words. I think that you have been saying what you think people want to hear and you think that that's the way to get approval and you think that that's the way to be accepted. Yeah, to be accepted. Agreeing where you shouldn't agree or not saying what you really feel. Not being who you know. No, oh, because you're very good and articulate at sharing your opinion, but it's not about opinion. Are you true or are you always acting? Are you always picking up what the other people in the room are feeling with your intuitiveness and using it to blow smoke in mirrors and give them what they want, give them the show that they want? 
put on the show that they want. You know the room. You can know the room as soon as you walk into it. But who are you? Who are you then when you walk home? How are you using your words? To parrot? To say what other people think they want you to think you think people want to hear? How are you using your words? To say what needs to be said? Or to say what's you know easily said? Now, I also think this is an energy of you are going to snap at somebody. You're going to, like, like it's going to come out of you. It's going to come spilling out of you. But I honestly think that that actually needs to happen for you. Whatever it does to the relationship between you and the person that you sort of let loose on, I think it needs to happen. Because it's sitting, the cow spirit is sitting. Miracles are endless. After you let it out. After you say the words that need to be said, after you are everything in public that you had basically been trying to pretend you weren't, finding your sense of self again, coming back into that full sense of who you are and loving every aspect of who you are and looking toward the future with confidence, not looking back, only looking to the future. This and that are true. That's BS. Stop trying to pretend like this and that are true. It's not. It's not all right. There's not always a compromise. That's not true. It's not. That card actually made me mad. You could be dealing with somebody who's keeping you in a sense of ambiguity of not making up their mind or deciding, not making a choice to choose you. You could be constantly putting yourself into situations where you have to pretend like it's okay. Like, 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 like whoever it is sitting right next to you that didn't do half as well as you, you have to sit there and smile and say, oh yeah, you did well too. No, you didn't. Make sure that everything you say this week is in your favor. Everything you that comes out of your mouth this week is on your own side. Because people will be listening and it will determine how they feel about you and how they end up treating you. You will you're basically casting your own spell on everything that you are. So very, very, please, please, please watch your words. Let your words be words of self-praise and appreciation. Or else you could be stuck in this in-between that is so irritating and so frustrating and that you've been stuck in way too long. Love is all around. Be loyal to what you love. This is about sincerity. Being true to yourself, being true to your sense of self, being true to, to your own voice and your own talents and your own gifts. Like praising them, sing, literally tooting your own horn, singing your own praises, really being on your own side. There could be somebody that's sick of hearing it. Maybe you've been doing it too much. Both sides could be true. But this is also an energy of somebody who really loves you and cares about you, reminding you of your value when you're forgetting it. Spirit has your back. There is a destiny out there for you, Pisces. It is truly beautiful. And this week, it seems like whatever you do, Mm. I was going to say whatever you do, you can't mess up, but that's not true. Check out these two cards because three cards came out together. And what I really love about this aspect is these two things, the lizard and the mouse, are something that the eagle feeds on. But you, being who you are, would normally lower yourself 
to be this creepy bottom crawler. And you would protect these kind of creatures and say, oh, this is the big bad guy. He shouldn't eat them. You are the big bad guy. Don't you understand that about yourself? That's the esoteric message. You, you, are, you are the predator. Do you not know that? Do you not get that about yourself? Own it. Own who you really are. Listen, and you know, I know, I, 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 I don't say predator. This predator is not in the sense of a, 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 a really horrible person. This, the eagle is beautiful. It is who he is. Is he, is he bad because he's bigger and, and feeds on these little things? Is that, what, is that, does that make him evil? No. He is who he is. He eats when he's hungry. It's how he feeds his family. You have been diminishing yourself from this to this. Because you feel guilty about your hunger. What's, what scares you so much about your hunger? Why do you think that you deserve a growling tummy as opposed to soaring over heights? You need to be who you are. This could also speak to running in trouble with the law debt or some sort of legal issues coming in because of details that you overlooked that are coming back up to haunt you this week. So this could be about the aspect of turning around and facing yourself, facing those details that you overlooked, something that you long time ago tried to bury, tried to hide, but it multiplied like little mice do in the walls. Multiply, 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 and it just, it just keeps getting worse. It's not, you're not going to be released from this and be able to look in the future, into the future. You will continue to stay in this in-between ambiguous state that drives you crazy and diminishes your potential and keeps you oppressed so that people have to keep reminding you of your own sense of worth. When really, if you just let your whole self out, you could eat this up and spit out the bones. So what is it going to be, Pisces? This is the week for you to get your eagle on. This is that week for you to not be afraid of everything that you are. All, like You are ridiculously amazing. And it's about not asking for forgiveness. It is also about like a debt collector knocking on your door or something coming back to bite you in the butt because maybe you didn't like file all your taxes. So, you know what I'm saying? Like you didn't cross all the T's and dot all the I's and now that's coming back to haunt you. But that's okay because you actually have to wipe this out and clear it out before you can move forward. You are definitely moving forward. This is just that last bit of Mercury and Pluto, Mercury working with Pluto to dredge up that dark stuff that you either forgot about or intentionally forgot about. But that stuff cannot stay hidden anymore. It's This is the time for the ultimate purge. You have got to stop hanging on to garbage. Let me turn the camera around to review the cards really quickly. Hold on. Here you go. It was actually a big reading. You know what you just see? Like the powers that be are not going to let you look over these details that you're trying to hide. It's going to come out this week. And I'm so glad it's going to come out this week. Do you know why? Because I want you healed and I want you free. And right now you're stuck in ambiguity because you just keep pretending like everything is okay when it's not. You're trying to hold on to something that is actually garbage. Or you keep accepting garbage into your life because you have believed this, this thing about yourself. 
and it has to be it has to be wiped clear you talk badly about yourself maybe allow people to put you down you're too you have to say what you need to say to to be your full self come into your full self like lay into somebody if you need to go ahead and do it everything is not okay You've been settling for something way beneath you, Pisces. You know, this week is going to be really kooky. It's going to take your quirky spirit to handle it. Seeing like beautiful things and even crazy things is an aspect of there is abundance coming into you. But it may not be as, as wonderful as you think it is. It may just be another, you know... BS opportunity. Hmm. It's going to sort of stick you in between. Come on. Be loyal to your yourself and your voice and who you are and your full quality. But there's something getting in the way of your full quality. And oh my God, this is the week that you have got to get that out. Spirit has your back. It, it, it's just, it's ready. Now is the time. It's the time. It's ready to come in and swoop down and eat up all of this bowl. Whatever it is that has, you have decided to not tend to or try to push away. coming back to liberate you let's go over to Vimeo for the full tarot card spread and your romance reading I'll see you over there